Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with Longclaw and Valerian Steel where we always deliver. This week in Los Santos strange reports of confused animals are coming in all over the state so let's take a look at what's been going on. So what's happening people? Well, residents of Los Santos and Blaine County have reported weird sightings of animals which appear to be roaming around the city and the state. Some locals have said that the animals appear confused and in some cases are even trying to communicate with them. These bizarre encounters have been reported across the entire state over the last 24 hours and more reports are coming in every minute. So what is going on? Well, I went investigating to one of the sighting locations and I found myself drawn almost uncontrollably towards a wild flowering cactus which was growing in the ground. I was suddenly overcome with the desire to nourish myself with its leaves and then the strangest thing happened. I passed out, I can't remember a thing. I woke up in an emergency room sometime later with a persisting desire to eat more leaves. These Moorish plants seem to hold a series of hallucinogenic properties or do they? More sightings appear every few minutes of animals interacting with citizens all over the city. This confused me more and more. Was I hallucinating? Or could it be possible that I had transformed into an animal? Well, I had to know. So I kept searching for more plants. I even heard of some plants thriving in the ocean, so I went searching and wilder and weirder became my experiences. Was this a dream brought on by the plants I was eating or did the leaves somehow hold magic properties that allowed me to live and breathe for a short time with the freedom of these wonderful animals? I wasn't sure and more sightings and encounters were coming in and some of the animals had even been seen to attack the residents. I was beginning to believe that the transformation was indeed real and not just the effects of these potent plants. So how was this happening? Where had these plants come from and why do they allow the eater to transform into a series of seemingly random, wild and domestic animals? Well, this seems to be the question and not one that's easy to answer. For me, I didn't care. I simply had to satisfy my insatiable desire for peyote and I swam into the coral reef to find it. There I basked as a hammerhead shark in the depths all alone. Momentarily unaware of my responsibilities as a business tycoon, for a short while I was happy drifting in the depths of the ocean. And on land I scavenged for the luscious leaves and I soared as a wild bird of prey above the streets of the city, proud and vast was my wingspan. In this moment I concluded, had this been a drug induced dream or some kind of true transformative state? Well, it didn't really matter. For me, the experience had been real. I had lived as these wonderful animals, albeit for a short while, and my journey was now coming to a close. But for others, the search for these mysterious plants continues. My final transformation was into my old friend Chop, and in whom I roam the streets in search for criminal targets. And there my journey ends for now. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, take care, and I'll see you next time.